It's story time. Gather round, children. Hi everyone, I'm Rob and this is on the Cheap Tips, Cheap Laughs. Today I wanted to talk about etiquette on public transportation. Yeah, there is such a thing. Now I've had a lot of crazy experiences on the train, like a full-on fight breaking out right in front of me, arguing with someone, and even almost getting stabbed. Yeah, that's a story for another day. But I have never encountered a weirder situation than the one that I had recently dealt with. The other day I was coming home on the train after a very busy day. I mean, I'm tired and all I want to do is just go home and kick my feet up and watch an episode of Love at First Sight. Yes, I'm a little obsessed with that show. So I'm on the train and I've got this great seat with this outlet right next to me. I can charge my phone so I can just relax all the way home. And then it happens. Someone decides to sit right next to me. Now on this train, the seats face each other, so you are forced to look at the person across from you, no matter how displeasing they are. And this girl just comes in with her like 50 million bags hitting me on the way in. I think I got smacked in the face a couple of times. She just disrupts my flow. And then she has the nerve to say to me, Oh, I need to charge my phone. And I'm like, bitch, don't you see that I'm charging my phone right now? But then I look next to me and I see that there's another outlet and I'm like, sure. So I took her charger and I plugged it in for her. Now to do this, her charger wire has to kind of like go across my body to get to her. And on top of this, she has like the shortest charger wire ever. And on top of that, she decides that she wants to text while she's charging. Because the wire is so short, she has to like text in my lap. Her head and hands are like literally in my lap. And it looks like she's doing inappropriate things to me. And then she looks up to me and says, do you mind if we switch seats? My charger wire is too short. Now I just let you run your raggedy wire across me. You're texting my left and now you want me to move? <laughs> I don't think so. So I politely decline. Not today, bitch. So as I'm on the train, I get a phone call from my friends and I pick up and I'm talking at a very appropriate tone. I mean, I'm not being loud for everyone else to hear me. And as I'm talking to my friend, I start to hear a third voice in the conversation. And I'm like, that's a very unfamiliar sound. I don't even know who that is. And I realized that the girl across from me thought it would be appropriate to join in my conversation. I'm asking my friend questions and she's answering them and I'm like, this bitch is crazy. Now I am usually a very tolerant person, but this bitch is testing me. I feel violated, but it doesn't end there. The next thing this girl decides to do is pull out her food. Now one of the things I hate the most is when people eat on the train. But the far worse thing is when people eat stinky food on the train. And this shit was stinky. Chicken Parmesan. Can't get any smellier than that. Not the sandwich, the meal. Now one would think someone would need like a table to eat this meal and perhaps some utensils. Oh no. This genius didn't need any of that. She didn't have utensils. So you know how she ate it? with her hands. I'm talking digging into the sauce and cheese and sauce and cheese just dripping down her hands and I'm forced to watch this. This has got to be a joke. This is a prank. I'm on a show. I'm waiting for Ashton Kutcher to jump out and say that I was punk. Unfortunately, that never happened. So then I start thinking positive. I'm like, best case scenario, she's getting off in a couple of stops and then you won't ever have to see this bitch again. But as I start to think this, the conductor comes around and collects her ticket and says, oh, you're going to Long Branch. Long Branch is way past my stop. So you mean to tell me I gotta endure this sloppy bitch's eating for my whole trip home? Oh my God. This is a good one. It's a really good one. So as I'm sitting there watching this girl eat, it comes time for her to wipe her hands. And she realizes she doesn't have napkins either. So then she proceeds to lick her fingers in front of me. I know that you had to touch a railing, open some doors just to get on this train. That's all over your hands, and now you're licking them? Gross! Ugh. Ugh. Gross. And now whenever she can't get off with her tongue, she then takes her water bottle and pours the water onto her hands to clean them, and all of her dirty water mess is going onto the aisle floor. <laughs> God, that's so gross. I can't even make up a story like this. So eventually we get closer to my stop and I mean, I could not gather my shit 
quick enough. I'm probably left things behind. I don't even know. The train didn't even stop and I'm trying to step off it. The conductor had to pull me back. I'm like, I'll tuck and roll, bitch. That's how bad I wanted to get off this train. Oh my god. Why me? All I can think of is, this is gonna make a great YouTube video. So the moral of the story is, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Use your common sense. Also does that. Anyway, that's all the cheap laughs that I have for you today. I hope you found it funny. I thought it was amusing. Not at the time, but now I do. Make sure that you comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all this Monday for another cheap tip. And next Friday for another cheap laugh. Bye, guys. Gross.